Hey, it's your boy S. Well, Sean the Wonder here. Again, with a video I haven't done in a long time. I haven't done one of these geek fashion videos in a while. I'm glad I actually finally been able to do it again because uh, I had a cheap webcam before that finally broke after all these years I had it. So, um, got a legit camera now, so I'll be able to make better quality videos. I'm so glad I happen to have y'all today with me. All these pieces here today are from insertcoinclothing.com and um, I'll be leaving um, information about um, these specific pieces in the description below. So alright, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so here's the first piece for today. Um, I got the Streets of Rage 4 t-shirt from Insert Coin. Um, this is a size small. Um, I think it fits well. It's just this shit is kind of tight. Like it's well, it ain't that bad. Well, it is kind of bad. Um, I tried taking this off is actually a little bit difficult, but I do like the design of it though. Um, it's a simplistic design, but it's not too simplistic. Um, you just got the Streets of Lake Rage logo right here, and you also got. Um, this red, yellow, and white stripes here on the sleeves. I think it looks um, pretty good myself. Just a simple design and let me see. I think it looks better tucked in, but hold on a second. So you can also go with a tucked in look, I think. Um, I think it looks well for this um, simple t-shirt design. This was a more loose fitting t-shirt than uh, I, I wouldn't say you tuck it in, but since it's like a tight form fitting shirt, but the only downside is um, I don't think this belt goes with it. I mean, at the time I bought this belt, I just needed a belt because my last one broke. So I don't personally think this white belt goes with it. And plus it has this weird metal dangling that I don't know what that's about. But, like, if you have a brown or a black belt, I think it'll go good with this. Um, I think also blue jeans fit the best with this particular shirt. Um, you could wear black with it too, but just in my opinion, I think the blue fits better for it. Um, better with this. Alright, that's uh, that's it for this outfit. Let's get on to the next one. All right, app number two for y'all. I got the um, the beat shirt from Jet Set Radio here. You know, so um, I played Jet Set Radio for like the first time, and I think well, I want to say it was 2017. I played it. I got it from Steam from the Sega collection and included uh, what did, what did include on there? It was Streets of Rage. Two on there. It might have been one and two, but I'm thinking that it was just two. Streets of Rage 2, Golden X, Jet Set Radio. Might have been something else on there, but I didn't really care about it. But um, yeah, I played it for the first time in like 2017, maybe early 2018. It's a really fun um, game. For those that don't know about it, Jet Set Radio is sort of like, I'm not sure how to really describe this type of game. It's like a genre of its own. I would say it's, it's sort of like a sports game. You play as um, like graffiti, rollerblading graffiti artists, and you tag um, parts of the city. It's while well, also trying to avoid like the police and stuff. It's it's kind of a weird game, but it has a it has a very uh, distinct style to it, and then the music is dope too. But yeah, this this shirt is basically the same design. And it's a shirt that Beat wears in the game. Oh, excuse me if y'all hear some um, back row noise. It's just um, my roommates and stuff. But yeah, I like this simple design. Um, yeah, you could also have this tucked in too. And it gets sort of like a... Um, I don't know, like a street classic vibe to it, man. And I think the white belt works a little bit better here. But I still would think maybe a brown one would work. <coughs> But I still think a brown one will work better for this one. You could also, I could also see you wearing like some, um, some white or yellow sneakers with this, or maybe in like in the summertime, I could see this being part of a beach outfit. If you wore like some nice cut off shorts, some shorts, and maybe some sandals or something like that. 
you could work this into a skateboard or a beach aesthetic, I think. For this, um, I want to keep the blue jeans on for this one. I think I think it will look weird with black ones. But yeah, uh, for this outfit, I think you could either you have to um, wear either blue jeans or shorts, or I think I could maybe see some some khakis with this. Excuse me. Well, that wraps up this one. Let's move on to the next. Oh, ooh, before I went on to the next um, clothing piece, I I want to try to see um, maybe with some sunglasses might look well with this. See right here. He's, let me try some green ones since it matches the the green on the sleeves here. Mm. Nah, I don't really like these. Let me try on the other colors. Mm. Oh, actually, I think I like these yellow ones. I think these would really go good with this. Too. I don't know. You got a sort of like a Cindy's look with these yellow ones. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm digging these shits. Alright. Oh, and I was mistaken before. I actually think this white belt does go good with this uh, shirt. Hmm. Alright. Now I'm ready to move on to the next outfit. Let's go. All right, so this is number three outfit. This is the, the Doom BFG 9000 from um, Insert Coin. Well, I don't know what I'm saying that. I said at the beginning of the video that all these from Insert Coin. But, yeah, uh, actually, I really like this hoodie here. Um, you have this <clears throat> this text on the front that's like, um, what do you call it? Distressed, like distressed um, text on here. It's not like a uh, a true black one here. It's like a what do you call this? Like an ash grayish or ash black or something like that. And it has like a nice texture look to it too. And you also get this uh, hieroglyphics on the sleeve right here. If y'all can see that, I think that looks um pretty cool. It's actually very comfy too. I got this in a size large. I'm not sure if this is too long or not on me. Um, Y'all could let me know that, but um, yeah, but the oversized is a thing too, you know. Oh, what is this? Do I got some lamp or something on here? Sorry about that, y'all. I've been wearing this a little bit. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing uh, much of detail on the back either. Just like a standard hoodie. Um, so does this have a no? All right, so yeah, not much I could say about this. Um, right now, I'm just wearing some blue jeans, but you know, blue goes with everything. Blue jeans goes with everything. Um, let me show you how this will look in the black. One moment. All right, so here it is with these black jeans on, and I think I like this a lot better. Um, the black on the jeans is not like really like true black either, so I think it it's almost like the exact same color black as the hoodie, but just a slightly darker. But I like this a lot, man. Um, it's cool and shit. I actually think something else that would go good with this if I had like a spiked um a spiked bracelet and put on the right arm. I think that would look good, like a heavy metal type vibe to it. Um. Oh, and also I want to try one other thing with this outfit. All right, so I threw on some um, some black sweatpants or joggers with this as well. It gives it more of a like it gives you a full comfy vibe to it, man. Get your full comfy demon slayer vibe on with this. Uh, actually, um, actually, insert coin also has um, black joggers as well. These aren't the ones I'm wearing though. I just I just didn't feel like trying to find them right now. But I got a black and a gray one. I'm not sure if I showed them off in my last haul or not. But yeah, they have those too. Now, that'll go good with this. But yeah, um, I wouldn't really wear this with it though. Just because um, it's, it's a Konami slash Kojima um, based jacket. I'm wearing a Doom um, hoodie. 
and those two things don't go together. Like, I know it's a small thing, but that annoys me. Like, Kojima didn't make them, so it, it just the two different um, game genres. I mean, games mixing just doesn't mm, work with me. But yeah, enough of that. All right, so here's the other Doom hoodie that I purchased from Insert Coin. Um, this one, um, this one is also simple design too, and I like it. The major difference from this one versus the uh, BFG 9000 is um, the text on this shirt seems to be stitched in into the design, which is the other one was like a, was a printed into it. So. Um, I think the issue, I think the, the differences between when it's something stitched and printed is when it's printed, like the text could fade faster than um, the actual golden piece itself. But with this, they'll like sort of fade together, if at all. So I like this. It's also, actually, I got this one in a size medium um, versus the size large of the last one. But I'm not sure. To me, it feels, I don't know, it doesn't look right maybe i should have gotten this in a large too but or does this look all right to y'all y'all let me know but yeah um not much to say about this got the uh, black sweatpants with sweatpants with this which looks all right um let me see what the blue jeans look like with this real quick all right so this this is how the blue jeans look like with this one actually i like the blue jeans better with this um i like i think it gives a better contrast went for this as well. Um, actually, I've just been wearing the same blue jeans with these, but actually that reminds me, I need to buy some more because really all I got is one pair of blue, one pair of black, and like a, maybe like two or three sweatpants. I definitely need to buy some more of the uh, pants. But, um, let's see, is there, a, I feel like there was a detail on the back of these, like a red one. I can't tell y'all, I mean, I don't think there is. But, um, that's about it. Let's get to the next one. Alright, so for the next one, I got this long sleeve fox t-shirt from, um, Instagram. Oh, I keep saying, I already said at the beginning that all of these are from the same place. But, yeah, I actually like this one. It feels, the sleeves on this really feel, um, comfy. Like, it's like a solid material on these sleeves, but... Like the middle part is kind of thin, but the sleeves feel really good. Uh, as far for the design of the shirt, it's it's um I like it. It's simplistic. This little uh, fox logo on the side, I think, is a cute touch. They could have just put the mask right here, and that's it. But they also added these little nice uh, flower designs. I think they're is this soccer flowers? Well, these little um, flowers on the sides of it. I think you are soccer. That actually be a nice touch because you know if you have played Persona Five, um, you know uh, that <clears throat> uh, name one of the name of one of the characters or like two of the characters in the game is Sakura, and um, so having like a flower design for somebody that's named after the character in here is a neat touch as well. If if these are Sakuras, oh, and if you look at the back. Mm -mm. You also got this dragon design on the back, and this dragon that comes from um, Use K's All Out Attack in the game. It's a, um, yeah, I really like this design, and then and the blue jeans I think goes well with it. You could um, spot some, maybe some, mm, some white sneakers with these. I'm trying to think what else. I guess you you could do all blue too, even though to me I think it might look a little weird with this, but get you some white sneaks with these you be clean you be clean all right and now let me try some black with this switch out the pants got the black ones on they don't look too bad in my opinion um actually maybe it seems like some black dress pants might like okay as with this as well and um actually i think you could tuck this in it will look it will look decent too But I think the belt would actually look better if I was wearing the blue jeans instead of the black. But I could go back, go back and try them on, but that's too much work for me, in my opinion. So I ain't gonna do that. So you're just gonna see him with the black. And you can also um, 
do the oversized thing like this. Have one side hanging out over the other. Oh, and uh, this shirt is um, in a medium, by the way. I decided to get in a medium instead of a small. Because sometimes this, the smalls be too tight around there. And I just think, I just thought this would be better in a medium. Alright, that's enough for this one. Oh, before I mention, um, before I go, I also forgot. This will also be good for like a casual uh, Fox cosplay. All I need is like a mask to go with this. And I can have like, um, with a katana on the side. I also already got like a, a skull mask. This is from Detrovoy. He makes probably the most high quality uh, Persona 5 masks I've seen on the internet. I got this mask, uh, the skull mask one for Halloween last year. And um, I like it. The design is nice and all, but it's just a too, it's a bit too small for me. Like, see, I got too much forehead showing here. Which, if you uh, play Persona 5, for usually his forehead ain't really visible like that. I might look okay if I have, like, my hair out and sort of covering my forehead, but I don't even have a big forehead, so it's not a me thing. Really, I think it's just this mask is a little bit too small. But, yeah, um, he has some good masks out. Um, check him out. I'll leave a link here for y'all. Alright, next outfit. Alright, so this one is the Mona Ringer tee. Uh, it's also another simple design, um, simple graphic design. You just got um, Morgana hair on center front. I can't remember where, what specific image is from in the game, but. Oh, and um, for some of y'all that don't know, but I can't mention y'all not knowing uh, following my channel, Persona 5. Is a uh, JRPG game from Atlas. Um, it's now owned by Sega, I believe. About a group of teenagers who basically operate as superhero after school. So, but that's kind of putting it simplistically. It's it's a lot of weird stuff. Like you don't you don't see this typically in video games in the video game genre. But it mixes um, your RPG aspect with the superhero aspect with sort of like social well I haven't really been playing any like social simulator games like the Sims or Animal Crossing I guess but it has a little bit of that in it too but yeah I, I've been really obsessed with Persona 5 since I played it the first time in 2019 and then Royal and Strikers they were just cherries on top man but yeah this is on here um, I, I really like the T this is also a small but it's not nearly as tight as the last um, few t-shirts I was wearing. This is probably the loosest out of the small ones I'm wearing. It's actually kind of weird. It's kind of in inconsistent sometimes. Like the t I had um, the Ryuji shirt I showed y'all like in the last video. That is the tightest one ever. Like it sticks to my body, especially if it's hot out, and it's such a pain to take off. Sometimes it is a pain to take off. I like this one. The um, the white belt I think goes with this, but just not the black jeans. I don't think. Well, the black jeans go with the alpha, but in contrast with the belt, I don't think it works. Um, actually, the sleeves. I like how they have the red on the ends of the sleeves right here, on the collar of the sleeves. It, it sort of gives it like a '70s feel. Let me try the blue jeans on with this right quick and see how that goes. This is the outfit with. Um, the blue jeans on. I think it looks better. I, I also think it's better to have this like rolled up a little bit or tucked in because it looks to me it looks a little weird to have it pulled down all the way. So yeah I'm gonna tuck this in right quick. And yeah I definitely like this bad boy better. All right, so that's pretty much it for this one. Now let's get on to the last. All right, so this is the last shirt for the day. Um, another Persona 5 one, like, uh, I got a lot of their clothes from the Persona collection. Um, still might get even more, actually. <laughs> I love that game so damn much. So this is their Phantom Thieves logo tee. Right here, um, this is definitely my favorite one uh, from the collection of my ball. 
It's a black black and red striped tee with the Phantom Thieves logo on it. And it, it is such a simple design. I usually I uh, back away just from um, stuff with just like an image or something plastered over it. But I think if you take a logo and try to make your own spin on it, I think it's good. Um, but it, uh, I think the logo is usually red, but they do chose it in white silver to help with the contrast with the other two colors on there. But yeah, I like it. Um, if this was just like a plain red and black t-shirt, I probably wouldn't like it. It looked too plain to me. Um, but yeah, I like it now. Um, I'm going to try to add some accessories to this and try to make it to something that just uh, a plain casual outfit into styling it into a, a subgenre fashion. All right. Give me a sec. All right. So um, I add a few accessories to this. I put on a spiked choker um, with a necklace and some um, white and black striped gloves to give it a punk rock feel. As you know, in the punk rock or alt community, a lot of like um, striped gloves and stripes in general uh, sort of fit with the aesthetic. And let me try adding this a bit, this hat to it. I think that fits well. See, and also another thing um, that goes with the, sorry. Another thing about uh, geek fashion, a lot of them not really, a lot of people in the community aren't really creative in how they put their outfits together. You could mix in other uh, fashion subgenres into it instead of just wearing just a, you know the plain shirt and some jeans or some khakis or something like that to toss it up. But I can make this look even a little bit more different just by changing around just a tiny bit. Let's look into that. All right, so all I did really was just add. Um, a cardigan over the top of this and also uh, uh, move the necklace up from the spike choker and down onto the pants as to act as a belt chain because I don't own a belt chain currently uh, yeah it gives a uh, more of a golf look to it and combine with this and also let me try and on these glasses as well I think they would look dope with this Oh yeah, I like these shits. Yeah, these shits go hard. Also, some black ones would go good with this as well. Yeah, I'm really feeling this right here. This, this is definitely my favorite out of the set I bought right now. Because I feel like this one is so versatile. There's probably some other stuff too I could do with one of the other ones. Probably maybe the, the use case shirt. But I just feel... Um, Maybe just because I started getting to uh, golf and punk recently that I see more potential in this. But yeah, man, this is this is about it. Um, you can rock some black or some black boots would go good with these too to just to heighten up the um, the golf aspect, eh, the golf aesthetic. Or um, some red shoes would go good with this too. I currently only have some red Converse. I need to get some more shoes too, man. I'm, I'm basically just wearing the same two or three shoes all the time. Mainly, most of the time, I'm just wearing the same one pair of black sneakers. I definitely got to mix it up, but yeah, this, um, this is it, right, chill. All right, then let's move on. All right. So that's all the pieces for today. Uh, let me know down below, which outfit did y'all like the best? Uh, as I mentioned before, I have the descriptions and, uh, prices for all of these down below in the description box. Next time I'll try to incorporate some, um, geek oriented pants and other pieces if I can into this uh, fashion all it just really it's hard to find these really on the internet for uh, pants especially for geek related stuff I might have to end up just doing that myself I've been seeing um, in the anime community they've been doing like a lot of DIY jeans where they either hand drawn hand draw images on marker onto the jeans or they use a vinyl machine I think called a cut Something with cut, I know, not cut code, but it's something with cut I know they're using. So I might do that eventually, even though those machines are kind of expensive too. And I can't, I can't really draw anymore either, so. But all right, that's it for today, guys. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.